Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to start implementing the landing page project. This is the second project of the nano degree, and today we're going to start implementing it together step by step from scratch. So, first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to the Udacity GitHub account and download your starter code. I have already downloaded mine, so I don't need to do this step. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna start implementing all these specifications minus the JavaScript. So, basically, you have 10 specifications in this project, and three of them are related to the JavaScript. So today we're going to start implementing all five of these, oh, sorry, all seven of these, and we're going to prepare our code for the JavaScript. Okay, so let's start with the interface. Here, is, here we see that the project should have this structure. So if you head to your starter code, you'll see that the project is already having this structure by default. So you don't have to do anything in this specification. The second specification clearly states that all, all the features should be usable across all viewports. So let's see. Okay. Over here, we see that the project is already responsive. So, I don't need to do anything in this specification also. The search specification clearly states that you should add styling to your active states. So, let's head to the project. And let's see what is the active state. Okay, over here we see that by default the first section has your active class class. So let's take this and let's search in the CSS to see if there are any any styling added to the active class. And here we see that the styling has already been added. Okay, so since the styling is already added, why are they have this specification? It's clearly because here, in the second specification in the JavaScript, it clearly states that this class, your active class, should be corresponding to whatever section you are viewing right now so if we if we see here that the class is already for the first section but if i scroll down to the second section the class doesn't get updated it doesn't correspond to whatever section that i'm in of course we're going to implement this by javascript so basically students will be implementing this functionality but they won't give this class to whatever class that they are viewing they will give it another class so basically if you didn't give it your active class this cl this class then you should update your your css okay okay let's see the last specification the last specif uh, specification in the interface clearly states that you should have at least three sections in my starter code you only have three so basically you need to at least add another section so i'm gonna head to the project index and i'm gonna start adding another section i'm gonna copy the last section like this and I'm just gonna change the ID and the data now over here. Of course, the section. Perfect. Let's refresh. We'll close this. And as we can see, the fourth section is already have been added. 
Okay, let's head to the other specification, the documentation section. Here we see that the first specification is the readme. Of course, we're going to implement this right now. The second is the comments. So this specification is related to the JavaScript. So basically, we're going to work on it in the other videos. And finally, that your code should be consistent and logical, and you should have at least one global variable. Of course, this is also related to the JavaScript. So this specification, we're going to work on it in the next video. OK, now let's start with the readme. Over here, we see that your readme should have a non-default and project-specific text. So let's start working on it. Here we see that this is the default text. This is basically what they don't want you to submit your project with. So I'm just going to de delete all of that. And I'm going to start um, writing my own text. So let's say here, the general text. This is the landing page project readme. Of course, I'm writing my readme with the right markup. Let's start with the languages used. Languages used. Over here, we used the HTML, the CSS, and JavaScript. OK, what functionalities do you have in your project? You have, let's start, the functionality. You have the navigation. You have um, the active class, the dynamic, sorry, active class. And finally, you have the scrolling effect. Scrolling effect okay what let's say what did we learned in this project we converted the static web project to a dynamic Project. And of course, we're going to see this in the next video. Okay, what else should you add? Um, I think this is enough. Oh, we can add also how to use the project. First, this is basically how the usual user will open your project. First, you open your browser. Then, sorry, second, you click Control plus A, sorry, O, Third, you navigate to your index.html. Fourth, you click on it. I think this is enough for the readme. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, 
we almost forgot to add the JavaScript link. Okay. So in here, I'm going to add the JavaScript. I'm going to say script here. And then I'm going to navigate to my JavaScript file. Perfect. And now I'm going to close it. Okay, so basically here we linked our JavaScript file with the index. Okay, thank you for watching. And in the next video, we're going to start implementing the JavaScript together from scratch. Thank you. Have a great day.